All right, yo, we are out here. Made this route yes, uh, yesterday, and this is what I was hoping. It's just on the side of Cumberland, and this was what I was looking for, gravel, baby. So there's some big, big mountains here, guys. I mean, I know for some of you that live on the other side of the country, this is probably nothing. But for us here in Maryland, I mean, I'm not used to seeing these kind of mountains. So let me get ready. I'm gonna try and see what I can do today here. Uh, I'm excited to see what's, what's going on over there. We're gonna be riding over there. And uh, a little bit of road on this side. And then we just get into the, uh, to the other side of that mountain. So uh, let's get ready and have some fun. So I hope it's okay to park here. I guess I'll find out when I come back. Ah, I got the frame bag full of goodies. So we are all set, ready to go. Carrying a little more stuff than normal today, just because the loop, it's gonna be uh, bigger than normal. But um, we are ready. Let's do it. Uh, hopefully, it doesn't get too cold. It's supposed to warm up. Let's get on the road. Starting uh, a little cold today. It's gonna warm up later on. Oh, man, it's just starting out uh, with probably a mile one. But look at that climb coming up already. This is what I was hoping, man. I just went on Strava, created the route, and he's safe. So, see what this adventure has for us today, man. I like this already. If you're in the area, man, you gotta come out here. Missing out on this gravel. Woo. Stay tuned. I'm hoping this can be a crazy ride. So, let you know at the end how many miles and how much elevation we're here today for stuff. So. So the worst just happened. Um, my battery died on my shifter. And I don't think I have an extra battery. Let's see what we got here. Man. That I didn't really plan for. Let's see what we got here. We got glue. And we got a battery. All right. I don't even remember how to replace a battery on this thing, man. Ugh. 
and let's hope that it is the battery we are back on business ah all right all right we're rolling again Ooh, that was close luckily we had an extra battery i was willing to uh take my battery from a uh, speed sensor but all good Take it in. So, our elevation right now is 1700 feet, more than what I'm used to. Feeling it, definitely. We gotta keep moving though. So far, so good. Just finished one of the big peaks of the ride today. Let me tell you, wow. That was brutal, guys. So we're literally on top of the mountain right now. It's a little windy. And the wind is just like cold, cold. But we're barely, barely, barely 11 miles in. As you can see over there, it's like we're riding on top, dude. We're riding on top of the mountain. We're climbing the whole thing. Look at that. I think we are at the highest that we're gonna get today. We're at uh, 2,000 uh, feet. All right, so we're gonna go down right now. We had a little turn around there that apparently the route is an old GPS route it's like a hundred years old there used to be a road there 
but now it's all private property so I'm gonna have to flag the rye and somehow not share the route because it's 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 all private property guys it was it was nice it was beautiful the route is very very challenging so Taking a, just taking a quick break here. Just wanna update you guys real quick. So I'm changing my socks. Yeah, I brought extra socks, what's up? So, we're gonna have to take a little detour on the route. Uh, second time today, Estrava takes me to a road that doesn't exist anymore. Um, maybe I need to be more careful when I'm creating routes. So, I was hoping to do more, more gravel, but I might have to, uh, I don't want to risk it anymore. I just spent like maybe half an hour uh, trying to find a road that doesn't exist anymore. Somehow I'm gonna see how I can flag this route, man, because it's not. I don't want. I don't want to. What happened to me today happened to someone else, because it's it's been rough today. I don't even want to record for real. Uh, but uh, I mean, it's what happens, you know. You can come out here, explore. I was really after some uh, elevation when I made the route. It had really really nice elevation. I mean, I'm getting the elevation. Don't get me wrong, but it's brutal, man. I'm gonna stick. I'm gonna stick to the routes I know, right? I'm not a fan of um, of these pedals. I might go back to uh, Shimano. These things are annoying, hard to clip in the road they do get a nice uh sad though because i just got these shoes too um 
do give you a nice platform though but I think I'm gonna stick to um, to the mountain bike pedals it hasn't been that bad today man but it's just really not gonna do what I was planning today I might go home early um, go home early because um the um what i had in mind for today is not working out so still got to drive back two hours so a lot of uh, run turns on this on this ride but I'm finally heading to the car so yo this turned into a road ride Yo. Uh, we're almost at the car, but we're finding these nice views, man. Yeah. Be in the car, maybe like in another uh, 15 miles. guys there was a lot going on today man i haven't looked at the wahoo see how much we got but it's not much i'm sure i got 74 miles 8300 feet of elevation it's not bad but it's looking for something else it was fun challenging today was more mental the route was run like three times man apparently two of the sections that i went in were private property let me show you what bike I had today. Today I had the uh, Crocs. She did really good. I had the um, uh, frame back today for the first time. That was really good, especially since I don't have to carry stuff on my back. I have the new XX1 uh, cassette. Actually, this is the first ride on this one. And I have the uh, Reynolds uh, wheel set on this. Those are new as well. Oh boy. Well guys, thanks for watching. Thanks for tuning in today. Be safe.